like I say, when you got individuals that's around you looking for their own personal gang. This shit really worth dying for. Everybody gon' shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm surrounded by wood, pine stars, whip it out. It's gonna be hard for them to tell you the truth. They looking for you to do something for them. Versus somebody like me, I got my own. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, I gotta jump on something else that really struck a nerve with me, man. Because I had hit, uh, I had uh, kind of hit Honeycomb Braze up when he came home. Mm -hmm. And he was gone before I could even lock in with him the way I needed to. Uh -huh. um, what did you think about him getting out in the way that he ended up just... Going right back like right. that. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought he was a clown. Really? Just to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, anyone who has his type of talent, anyone who has his connections, anyone that's in, you know, in his position to be able to better themselves and you self-sabotage yourself, I mean, uh, it's a reflection of the way you spent your time. Wow. You know, you got Birdman in the hood chilling. I said you got Birdman in, in, in your neighborhood chilling. Me getting into some trouble would have been the farthest thing from my mind. I'm fresh out of prison. So, and then it's also a, a reflection of the individual that you have around you that's helping you make your decisions, the people that are influencing you. Everyone is influenced from somewhere, some way, somehow. So whoever it is that's influencing you, obviously they, they doing a piss poor job, sir. Yeah. It's no it's no reason for someone to have your potential, your talent, your skill set, your connections, your relationship, yet it's being sit in prison. Like, it's being buried alive. Yeah, buried so, you alive. know, when people, when you're just asking me about the guy, I don't personally know him, just on the outside looking in. Uh, man, uh, he's not even someone that I'd be looking to associate with, but I would be trying, like, right, he incarcerated now? If you can get word to him, let him know, lock in with the big reform movement, we can begin to reform his mentality so that when he get here, he can be successful. So that, one of the guys that you guys uh, work with, that's one one of the furthest things from their mind is just putting themselves in bad situations when they come home. Um, one of the number one things we work on with the guys is understanding your thought patterns. Your thoughts is what leads to your actions. When you walk back into society, being around constructive, positive individuals, sound individuals is what you need. You don't need it to come home, especially for someone like him who's in the entertainment industry. You know, obviously he got a little money, a little clout, cool. He needs real people around him who, who genuinely love him, genuinely care about him, and they're not making a decision based off of what they're going to personally gain from this situation. They're making a decision based off of, man, honey, come, I want to see you be the best you, bro. I don't want to see you crash and burn. Let Those are the type of individuals he need around Let him. me ask you this. If you was a friend of him, hypothetically, um, and he came home and he jumped on the Internet and did some of the things that he mm -hmm. done, what would have been something that you would have tried to – Tell him uh, to, to, you know, get him at bay. Right, so if you're my partner and we got a real relationship, I'm going to just walk up and take the phone. Hey, you lost your motherfucking mind? hell is wrong with you, man? We ain't moving like that. You the bag. We not doing none of that, bro. You is tripping. You need to get to the studio and you need to be getting them raps in. That's yeah. what you need to be doing. Obviously, you're not successful at what you're doing. You keep going to prison. Anyone that's keep going to prison, people keep dying, obviously you're not successful in this industry. So we need to reroute you. When I say reroute you, meaning we need to go about this a different way, bro. Your way didn't work. Wow, I think that's dope that you, you know, because that's, that's what he needed to hear. Uh, yes, yeah, like I say, when you got individuals that's around you looking for their own personal Gang. This shit really worth dying for. Everybody gon' shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm surrounded by wood. Pine stars. Whip it out. It's gonna be hard for them to tell you the truth. They looking for you to do something for them. Versus somebody like me, I got my own. Alleg I don't need nothing from you. Allegedly, the guys that was with him, you know, basically, were, some of the security guys wasn't didn't have all his stuff right to be carrying firearms and some stuff. So, like so, that. so, 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 if I'm someone of his uh, of his stature, how do you in his position? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have someone that that can have a firearm. You are gonna check, make sure that they are qualified. Man, I got him. You telling me we don't know nobody that's that's qualified to carry a firearm? I'm a convicted felon. I'm not going to have it. So whoever's in this vehicle is going to be legal and qualified to be able to carry that firearm. Wow. And I think that's important. But do you think that some people are still stuck in their um, certain type of mentality where they're not even like thinking right. about that? Uh huh. So you being stuck in your mentality would be the reason why you're sitting in prison. Exactly. Uh, I would advise individuals that are looking to strive to become better men that's looking to strive to reach a certain level of success, you know, you're trying to do these unbelievable things, understand the importance of security. 
Uh, my homeboy around the corner that I grew up with is not security. For the amount of money you guys are playing with, it ain't nothing to give a, a security, you know, three, four thousand dollars for the month or whatever just to be able to. And really, it's about I just want you to have that firearm with you. You legal, and I want you to have that firearm. Because worst case scenario, if it get too extensive, you know, obviously I'm going to, you know, step up for myself. And then some people, would some people, I'm just, scenario, um, scenarios just keep coming to my head or thinking about what people might be thinking, why they could possibly not get that. Some men be feeling like, because they're so street, they mm-hmm. feel like, I can't trust the security, because security can be bought off, security Correct. can whatever, that's right. why I'm, I'm not going to have somebody around that I really don't trust or know. Mm-hmm. We don't do security like... Like I know, I know the um, pros and cons of that shit. Like I know the uh, consequences, but it's it's just like I don't do security. See what I'm saying? Cause it's like I pay you to protect me, and you don't know me. See what I'm saying? Like it can be anything. Like when I'm ready to shoot, I'm ready to shoot. I don't want you to um, go by the law. I don't want you to wait for the right time and all that shit. Like just well, shoot him. Like bro. see what I'm saying? I don't want to do nothing. So when I'm ready to do it, I'm ready to do it. I don't want. Like, I trust my partners and my cousins more than security. So this one thing I know about, if you so street, then you would understand the logistics of security, of the way you're moving and the way you're doing your thing. It's very important that if I'm a high, I'm a big time entertainer, I got all this beef, all this drama or whatnot, I'm going to I'm gonna have some people around me that it's legal for them to have the fire on. The quickest way to get Keegan Bruce out the equation is just to, hey, he got a gun in the car, y'all need to pull him over. Mm. They pull a car over. It's a weapon in here. Everybody saying it ain't theirs. I'm a convicted felon. Obviously, I'm going to jail. Mm. That happens a lot. It ain't gonna happen with Keidra. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna happen with Keidra and Brewster. <laughs> Cause it definitely happens a lot with guys ending up with different security guys who say it ain't mine. It, it's, it's gonna be your. It, it has to be yours. That's the only way you're gonna be in this vehicle. I'm a convicted felon. We know Keidra not taking the case. And you don't go into vehicles with people that you don't really know if they have a gun on them. I got my own key. Where are my keys to my truck? At? <laughs> I got my own vehicle. Excuse me. Let me see that. So I got my own vehicle. So in the event there's something taking place that I'm not in agreement with, I just go hit that, doo, doo, hit that button. Because do you always know if somebody actually has something on them? You don't know. Um, you you don't. not go search them all the time. He's, Correct. But I, think, I will say this. Individuals know the people they surrounded by. You know, you are the one, you the head of this. You the one that's creating the team. You the mastermind behind this. So anything that, if we succeed, it's your fault. But if we fail... That's also your fault. So the fact that we incarcerated or the fact that we dead, that falls on your shoulders. Mm-hmm. It, it can't just fall on your shoulders when we rocking out sold out arenas and doing things like that. You know, I'm on Boss Talk doing big videos and all that. All that fall on your hands. But then when somebody done got killed or somebody done got locked up, a tragic situation done took place, you didn't have nothing to do with it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.